And now we're joined by David Yonkai from the award-winning LULAC political letter again, talking about the primary election of 2019. Happy to be here. Thanks oh. for having me. Well, we thank you for having us. So, of course, we want to talk about the Wilkes-Barre mayoral race. Right. And incumbent Tony George, you know, not winning. So what's the reaction about that this morning? Well, I think the reaction is, is that every election has consequences. But I think Wilkes-Barre could benefit from what happened. I mean, it's not a good thing, you know, to lose that big. But um, if you take a look at the infrastructure program that Mayor George has started, um, uh, states across the country have been talking about infrastructure improvement. And in Wilkesbury, the building blocks for that infrastructure improvement have begun. So I think he is going to have to take his vision that he wanted in the next term and compress it. And that will be a good thing because he has the interests of the city at heart. George Brown, the former councilman who won, he also has a great opportunity because he won't have to worry about a re-election campaign. He will not have to worry about uh, running, um, raising money or anything like that. And he will be able to um, plan the way that he wants to run the city. You know, your piece there that talked about how he wanted to consult and meet with people. The, um, the comparison between infrastructure not happening overnight and consulting that's the process for Mr. Brown. And I think it's a good opportunity for the city, even though it was a, a loss for the mayor. The mayor, Tony George, he lost by roughly 2,000 votes this time around, mm -hmm. which is much different than back in 2015, where he, he won against George Brown by just a few hundred. What was so different this time around this year? Well, I think a lot of dynamics. First off, when you're an incumbent, you have to, you get blamed for a lot, okay? And then the other thing is, the last time there were four opponents in the race, this was a head-to-head -head race. And the interesting thing about this race is that both men announced in February, and then for a while there, there wasn't a lot of noise about the campaign. There, were, there was, wasn't a lot of advertising. It didn't really ramp up until May. So, again, that's the differences, but, you know, people, voters are the people that make the choice. So a bit of a shake-up for sure this time A little bit around. of a shake-up, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and you do work for the, the city. I do. One, one of the best, um, uh, one of the greatest honors of my life is to be working for the city of Wilkesbury, and I'm very happy to be doing that. Um, and since you brought it up, we are going to be having a thing in um, the summertime called Mondays at the Market, and that's going to be July 8th through the 19th. And right now we have 50 vendors signed up. We have a lot of entertainment coming. It's in a compressed time schedule between 11 and 2. And you guys are going to be there on August the 12th for the fitness day. So you, you know that if you mm -hmm. asked me about working in City Hall, I wasn't going to be talking about the elevators, but I was going to be talking about <laughs> right. basically a promotion to get something in. So we're, 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 we're looking forward to that. And I work for the Wilkesbury Health Department, and we are uh, sponsoring that along with some other organizations. Okay, well, it's definitely on our calendar. Yes, and, you yeah, know, on your of, calendar. Of course, if we talk about Wilkesbury government, we also want to point out uh, full disclosure that you do yes. work for, for Wilkesbury City yes, as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Exactly. Well, David, thank you so much for being here with us, and of course, we'll check in with you. Again. I'm coming back at 5 o'clock? Yeah. We'll Even after you. that promo? Okay, that's yeah. cool. We'll All be right. here, you'll be here. Okay, good. We'll see you then. That's good. <laughs>